This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky has shown so far this season that it has a loaded group of running backs, but reports indicate one is leaving the program. Junior Michael Horton, a native of Ohio, is reportedly going to transfer from UK. Last season, Horton ranked third on the team in rushing with 318 yards. This season, he has only three carries for 12 yards in the first four games. To high school football, the undefeated Allen Central Rebels will host the Leslie County Eagles Friday. The Rebs off to their best start in school history. Head coach Jeremy Hall and his kids are making the best of the season, averaging 47 points per game and only giving up 14 points per game. Coach Hall thinks the Eagles spread offense will present a challenge his team has yet to see. That's hard to deal with. Um, we're kind of a uh, you know, hard nosed pack it in top team and uh, they like to spread it out and get in open field. So that's uh, very much different than a lot of teams we've played so far this year. So we're spending a lot of time this week just, just preparing for that, that scenario and then go out and see what we can do. Home advantage always helps. I mean, it's, uh, it's something that's worked in sports for years. I mean, there's nothing better than having a district game on a home field, you know. You got that slight advantage. Speaking of undefeated teams, Jim Matney's Johnson Central Golden Eagles have yet to lose as well. They are 5-0 and and will go to East Carter this week for another district game. The Raiders are on a four-game losing streak since the opener. JC will approach the matchup not worrying about what East Carter has done, but more on how they can build off their progress. We're more concerned with doing what we do than we are with doing uh, defending against what they do. Uh, don't get me wrong, we're prepared and, and things, but we feel like that we need to go in there and, and stick to our game plan and do what we do best and not get off track, I believe. East Carter's a, uh, it's a decent school. Um, it's a district game, so we're looking at it, you know, as trying to go 2-0 and in a district play. Um, that's our real season, is district play not a regular season, so we're trying to get ready for the playoffs and ready for everything like that. Finally, the University of Florida has its new athletic director. Former Kentucky Associate AD Scott Strickland was announced as the new athletic director at Florida, where he replaces Jeremy Foley. Strickland spent six years at, as the AD at Mississippi State and says he values all student athletes on campus, something he says he learned during his time in Lexington. I work for a guy in Kentucky named Mitch Barnhart, who's still there. Um, Mitch followed that roadmap and really valued uh, all sports and made a big commitment there. We've tried to do the same the last several years at MSU. I, I think that uh, there's so much return when, you, when everybody who walks on your campus feels like they are valued equally and that they're giving all the tools necessary that they can get to be as successful as possible. Back with more after this.